Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pedal Porn Hub. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about a vintage 1960s crybaby Wawa. <laughs> particular wire that I'm holding in my hand is said to be like a 1967-1968 transitional model before they actually formed the uh, model name V846. This one features the famed uh, trash can uh, inductor which is said to be used by um, like Jimmy Page, Hend uh, I think Hendrix, Clapton, uh, all of these guys um, seem to favour those early wires and this is what it, this has got the same circuitry inside um, before they moved on to like the, the red phasal inductors. And um, yeah, this one really does sound so expressive. You know, wires are an interesting one because you can go through, um, you know, tens of wires and then uh, some have that vocal quality and then some don't. And um, we got, we recently traded this in for a pedal pawn fuzz. It needed fixing up to be honest. We, we had to do a couple of uh, fixes to it, but it really works great now. And for me, it had that sort of Steve Rayborn say what style wah tone. And that's what I always look for in a wah, that really um, expressive vocal like quality moving up and down the uh, the treadle. Crazy thing is, I don't think the prices of all this stuff has caught up yet with wahs. Like if you look at fuzz pedals and tube screamers and um, Octavias and stuff, all this stuff has gone expensive, but wahs, you can still find a decent vintage wah for not a lot of money, so um, yeah, it might be worth experimenting um, with these older things if you can find one on eBay or Reverb. So um, yeah, hope you guys like the tones. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll catch you guys soon. Cheers. Whoops, sorry guys, I actually uh, forgot to mention the main topic of the video, uh, the main point of the video, which is not uncommon for me. So um, yeah, uh, we learned this trick a little while back from Philip Sace. Um, we watched, uh, I think it was like a, a rig rundown he did with like, oh no, not a rig rundown, but like a, a pedalboard demo with um, Guitarist magazine. And he mentioned using like a vintage fuzz face before the wah, and it adds such a juiciness and uh, actually increases the depth of the range almost. So you get more lows, more highs. And um, yeah, we, we tried it with a fuzz face and it sounds incredible before, but we actually preferred it with our Texan twang pedal because again, that's a treble booster at heart. Anything like a treble booster or a fuzz that has a really nice cleanup with your guitar's volume knob will work for this wah-wah trick. And um, again, all you have to do is place it before the wah pedal in the signal chain and um, it just interacts so nicely with your uh, guitar's volume knob and with a wah after it, it's just magic. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Sorry for this uh, interruption <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the video, cheers.
Oh, my God. 